Okie dokie y'all, so I have sat down here and I am filling out the monthly lunch menu. So if you are new here, I have these lunch menus available to purchase in my Etsy shop. The link is always in the description box below. So this month I've decided to go with the fruit themed one. Um, I've got three different designs. Let me show you. So this is the fruit weekly one. You can, you get the weekly, the monthly, and then you also get um, these cute lunchbox note cards. You just print them on the dotted, or cut them on the dotted line, and you can either laminate them if you wanna keep them, or you can just print off um, as many as you need each week. Um, but you get these three plus whatever set um, menu like design that you want. So you get all five of these sheets for $5. Um, so let me move these back here. Now, Winston can't read yet. Um, so for us doing the note cards, I will make sure that I read them to him before and then stick it in there. That way he kind of knows, maybe hopefully remembers what it says, or I might even just do one of these and put, I love you. Cause like, I know he knows how, you know, what I love you. But um, if you have older kiddos, then, you know, you can write whatever. And then, you know, these would be perfect. Um, so like I said, I've got this cute fruit design. It's a little wrinkled, sorry, I had it in a notebook. Um, but you can either do a weekly or a monthly, like I said. And then this is the black polka dotted, also weekly and the monthly. And then you get this cute colored um, one, weekly and then monthly also. So my plan is to write a month's worth of lunches on this. And then um, each week I can pull what lunches I wanna use from here and write them on here. Um, and then kinda go into a little more detail of each week. So I'm not like, like even though I'm putting the main dish on here, I can each week write down like Cheez-Its, what fruit, or each, um, not week, each day. So that way it's more, um, Pacific, Pacific, specific, <laughs> um, to each lunch. So in the morning, I'm not stressing out like, okay, what, what do I need to put in here now? It literally, I'm going to have it all written down. But for today, I'm going, cause he just started school today. Um, so I'm not going to worry about doing a week yet until we start on an actual Monday. So he started on Wednesday, the 11th. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill out from the 11th to the 31st of lunch ideas. Now, about a month ago, whenever I was designing all these, I went through and wrote down everything that I knew that he liked. I wanted to just sit down, as I thought about it, write down everything that I know he would like. And so I've kind of got a game plan here of lunches. And so like I said, I'm just gonna take these and write them on here. Um, and then that way I can put this on my fridge or keep it in the cabinet and then you can put this one on your fridge however you want to do it it's your house your rules um i just loved this idea to help you stay organized so if you either do them at nighttime or in the mornings you're not stressed and rushing trying to figure out what your kiddo is going to take to school um every morning so you have it all planned out and ready to go and you know exactly what you're going to have um, and it's easy for you to pack your kiddos lunches and have a good morning and get them out the door and you're not stressed kids aren't stressed and hopefully to have a good day. So I'm gonna sit here and I'm just gonna write um, August menu plan on this and then um, we'll come back and chat about it. Okay, so here is the whole month of August already planned out. Like I said, I'm planning on doing just the main dish on this one. And then starting next week, when it's a full week, I will just take and write Monday through Friday out and then do like more in detail, like what fruit he's gonna have, um, sweet treat and even like chips, you know, like kind of stuff like that. Like kind of just write everything so I have a better idea. And I'm not just staring into the pantry trying to figure out what I want to pair with the main dish. 
So I did like cold, hot, cold, hot. And I'll, I just wanted to say too that this is subject to change. This is just an overdraft of the whole month. I can pick and choose what I actually want through the week, like when I go to write it on here. Um, but I did kind of do like a cold, hot, cold, hot. That way it's kind of like alternated and, you know, he gets like nice hearty, um, you know, lunches. Some are hot and some are cold. So we've got, of course, a DIY Lunchable, the uh, bologna cheese and cracker. That's on there three times. That's like his all-time favorite lunch, y'all. <laughs> um, and so I went ahead and put that on there three times. And then, of course, a mac and cheese, cheese quesadilla. And then he likes diced ham. So I wrote ham up at the top. I can either put it in the quesadilla or just serve it on the side as a protein. And then DIY Lunchable pizza, that's also one of his favorites. Um, and then just some plain buttered noodles with some Parmesan cheese. And then mini quiches, I've shared those before on my channel and he loves those. Some mini corn dogs and meatballs. He loves just plain meatballs. He like, likes some plain dipped in ketchup. And he also likes them in some um, like pasta sauce. And then, of course, I already said that the school said that it's okay to have peanut butter and almond milk. So, we got PB&J on the menu. So, uh, last week, he tried jelly for the first time in a long time, and he actually liked it. So, he said that for now on, he wants peanut butter and jelly. And then, pizza quesadilla. Those are really good. And then, I'm going to do breakfast. We have got French toast sticks. We have got waffles. We've got pancakes. So, I can just pull those out and have those for him. Um, and then some SpaghettiOs and then cheeseburger cups. Those are just like little crescents with like cooked ground beef and cheese. Really simple, but something that he loves. If y'all are, if y'all know, he loves his cow meat as he calls it. And so I felt like that would be a good lunch idea for him. And then of course, another DIY Lunchable for, um, bologna, cheese, and crackers. So that is the game plan for the month. Um, don't forget that these are available to purchase in my Etsy shop. If you are interested, you have your three designs plus your cute little note cards for the kiddos lunchbox. It's only $5 for the set. It's super cheap and it helps you stay organized um, and you can plan monthly or weekly like I said. So let's go ahead and get into the lunches. Here is his first lunch for kindergarten. He is up and ready to go this morning. So we have got like a DIY Lunchable, which is one of his favorite things. So I thought I would start out this week with some of his favorites. So we have got some regular Ritz crackers, two slices of bologna, some veggie straws, shredded cheese, cause that's his all time favorite out of sliced cheese or even cubed. He loves the shredded better. Got some grapes. I cut them in half so they're easier to fit more in this little cubby right here. And then I put him as a sweet treat. He has some mini Oreos.
okie dokie y'all so for winston's lunch today it is thursday he is taking a cheese a quesadilla some diced ham some rainbow goldfish thanks to cat she was so sweet and sent winston a cute amazon package and it had a ton of goldfish in it he is so excited got some little mini oreos for a sweet treat and some more grapes because he asked for those again he said they're really good and he liked that i cut them in half so that is his lunch for Thursday. Okay, y'all, it is Friday, so here is his lunch for Friday. He said he wanted leftover pizza from last night, so I just took and cut it up. We like cold pizza in this house, so this is not unusual for him to take and eat cold pizza. So I've cubed it up so it's easier to fit more pieces in there um, in this little container. So I cubed it up small, and then I just shoved it full with pieces of pizza. Um, I got some fruit snacks. He's got some cheese. Y'all already know that's one of his favorite things. And half of a banana. And I just wrapped the end of it in saran wrap um, just to help that top part not turn brown by the time you know he eats. Because I know if it looks brown, he's not going to eat it. Um, and then a few Ore mini Oreos as a sweet treat. And then since it's Friday, we're going to do like Fun Friday. And he is having some Cheetos for his Fun Friday snack so that is his lunch for friday and that is it y'all i hope you enjoyed these first three easy school lunches can't wait to see you back next week for a full lunchbox video he had such a great start to school and we will see y'all in the next one bye guys